Hello, my name is Victoria and I'm one of the midwives that works in the antenatal clinic. If you're watching this, it's because you've been confirmed as having gestational diabetes. Everyone will have been screened for the different reasons, but some people are more prone to developing gestational diabetes than others. All pregnant ladies are slightly resistant to the hormone insulin, however, some are more so than others. Insulin regulates glucose levels within the body. If glucose remains high in the blood, this can affect the health of mum and baby. This is nothing that you have done wrong or have any control over. The effects of gestational diabetes on the mother is that potentially you can have a large baby, which will lead to the increased risk of an instrumental delivery or shoulder dystocia. You can also develop polyhydramnios, which is excess fluid around the baby, which could lead to a premature birth. You're at risk of developing preeclampsia, at risk of developing type 2 diabetes in later life, increased risk of developing gestational diabetes in future pregnancies, and a small risk of stillbirth if uncontrolled. For these reasons, we ensure that you have more antenatal clinic appointments. There are also risks to the baby which we have to consider. There's the risk of low blood sugars because your baby has been making extra insulin to cope with the increased demand of glucose. Early feeding of your baby and monitoring of their blood sugars to ensure they are okay is encouraged. We will monitor your baby over a 24 hour period and this will be performed by doing a heel prick test. We will encourage early feeding and if you wish to breastfeed, we will encourage you and teach you how to harvest colostrum from 37 weeks at your antenatal appointment. When you have gestational diabetes, you will be seen in the combined clinic. This is with an obstetrician and with the diabetic team and we ensure that everyone has an appointment. It is based in the antenatal clinic and appointments are every four weeks with an ultrasound scan from 28 weeks pregnant. However, sometimes they, these scans have to be performed more frequently based on individual needs. Clinics are big and waiting times can be long, but ladies will be seen in an appointment in time order. Therefore, expect to wait and possibly consider bringing some food to eat and something to drink to keep you going. Delivery will be recommended based on which form of treatment you are on. Initially, we will manage your diabetes by encouraging you to make changes within your diet. Sometimes extra help is needed in the form of medications, either metformin tablets or insulin injections. If your pregnancy is managed with dietary changes, we would like you to deliver your baby around 40 weeks of your pregnancy. If medication is required, then we encourage you to have your baby by 39 weeks. Please now refer to the video demonstrating on how to monitor your blood sugars.